it's time to put what we've learned so far into practice with a challenge. You're going to build this counter example. Now we have the total count at the top here and three buttons that increment the count. We can increment the count by one, by five, and by 10. Now, everything we've learnt so far is all you need to build this component. It might be challenging, don't worry, don't panic. Just take your time and think about what we've learnt. If you get stuck, you can ask in the Q&A, on Slack, or maybe you've got an error, in which case Google can always help. Now, I provided you with a style sheet for this challenge, so you can style the component the same way that I have. There is one quick caveat that I'm just gonna show you now about styling components in React. I've got a simple component here that returns a div with three headers. Now, in normal HTML and CSS, to give an element a class, you use the keyword class, like so, as I'm sure you all know. However, in React, the keyword class is actually reserved. So this is gonna throw an error, as we can see here. Unknown DOM property class. Did you mean class name? And this is because the keyword class is reserved. So with React, if we want to give an element a class, we simply use the keyword class name, like so. Now this is gonna style the component with some blue text, nice and simple. I'm just gonna copy that and give it to the final header one as well. Both these elements are gonna be styled blue and the error disappears. Now IDs work exactly the same way as they do in normal HTML and CSS. So ID of red, obviously that's gonna style the text red, and there we go. As always, I provided you with the project files for this lesson. So I've provided you with an index.html, which is blank. We've got all the scripts and we've got the link to the CSS file that I'm gonna provide you as well. Now I highly recommend you start from nothing when you're learning to build React components and go from literally nothing and build up every little step and you'll really start to get to grips and really start to learn how to build React components. Now in the CSS file, I've got some simple classes here. So I've got a container class, which obviously goes on your div container. I've got container and header one, obviously goes in your header. Container button, which is to style all the buttons. And then for each separate button, I have blue button class, the blue button hover, the green button, purple button. So if you want to give a button a color style, you simply give it the class name, button, and then blue button, like so. In the next video, I'm going to take you through how I built the component. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed my video, please like, share, and subscribe. If you've got any comments, suggestions, or ideas for videos, leave them in the comments below. Send me a tweet at code with Tim or send me an email code with Tim at gmail.com.